I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for the evening. Quartermaster! That's our present course. Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat. Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway. Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Once a month. Dio Dio. It's revolting. Ah. Bro, can't even call day.
wife and daughter. Certainly my old car. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king's and brought guilty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fire! Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant freaks who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! One would suppose the watchman is employed to put an end to such things. And how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left me. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Hold it! What happened? It's Captain Roger's head! Done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. Here's one still kicking! 
Who did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing.
sir! Door, Captain! Look fast! Those the gallons of oil! Get those crews up! Careful of that mortar fire! Ground it all on! That's door! Advice with him that needs taking. I'll have to board her myself. My tool, How can I not be impressed? Maybe. May the best that we do sing praises of the second! Oh, a merry life and a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. For what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. But perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To... Open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Uh, 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 destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me... Assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since drop an anchor? 
Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. He's not wrong. A monkey-looking thing? Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's... that's by the church? Keep this safe. Just in case. I'll be at the bureau. Good luck. ¿Estás cuestionando una orden directa, soldado? No, señor, pero es que... Bien. ¡Atención! Tenga que cerrar yo. Señor, sí, señor.
You're done, Torres. Christ! This again, eh? Speak, mate. It would gladden me to hear your side. 
You humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace, down among the dead. got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labelled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man.
Who's this Taurus? And what's your man done to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence you cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. They brought every ounce of menace they had.
all so strange. What is this? Later, Anne. I'll tell you all when this is finished. And watch here, and let none follow.
get power for ourselves and brought these miserable empires to extinction. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I... With everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were files when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of... these things. Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You alright? Well, there you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around.
A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. But this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, then Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery of that man than even I dare ask. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. I 
Yeah. 